What up guys, good morning and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing an oil-based pomade. I know we've been doing a lot of water-based pomades, but that's just how the schedule's been. However, today we finally get the chance to review an oil-based pomade, and not only just an oil-based pomade, but a home-brewed product. And this is important to me because I don't know how many of you guys have been here since the beginning, but the pomp basically started off mostly to just showcase home-brewed pomades. And uh, lately, I haven't been given the chance of that, like, this blog channel has gotten pretty big and so we got hit up by like bigger names and so I've been busy with that kind of stuff but I think I'm going to try to kind of take a step back and like go back to like reviewing a whole bunch of like homebrew products just to make sure that like I'm still aware still knowledgeable about like what's going on in that arena of the market I guess but yeah so today we'll be reviewing Rustin Heavy Hold Pomade if you guys remember about six months ago we reviewed the Rustin Medium Hold Pomade and so this is the pomade brewed out of Houston, Texas by Rocky Lopez. And so they released now a whole line of heavy, medium, light. And there's many other products in, the de in development right now, which I'm really excited to see. But today we'll be just looking at the heavy hold and focusing on this one right here. And I've actually been pretty pleased with it, so we should have some good stuff. And of course, we'll start off by looking at the jar. Here it is, Rustin Heavy Hold Pomade. And as with all other pomades, these are just fine grooming aids. They don't style your hair, they just help you style your hair. Very little difference, just an emphasis change, but it actually means a lot, so just keep that in mind and ponder on it. This is a four ounce jar, handcrafted in Houston, Texas. Beeswax is the main ingredient, so we really know this is a Heavy Hold Pomade. Opening it up, you can see right away, it has like a nice, dark blue color to it really cool as far as I'm aware it won't stain anything else so let's go ahead and start using it so unfortunately I have been sick for the past few days so it's gonna be difficult for me to really grasp the scent like 100% but I can still get like a hint of the smell and it's like a nice I don't want to say woody but rather just like a, a nice foresty masculine and like clean scent and I know officially like the scent is oak moss and sandalwood so it is accurate and stuff like that but either way it actually is a really pleasing scent because it's like not too rare that we actually get like a nice clean kind of like earthy not cologne but like borderlining that heading towards that direction and it's rare for us to get that type of smell for an oil based product but yeah go ahead and start using it now So after using it for a few days, I would like to char characterize this product really similar to Goon Grease. Just not as greasy and a little bit lighter in terms of the hold. But either way, the strongest characteristic of this product is just like kind of the way it feels in your hair. The lightness of it without sacrificing the hold of the product itself. So scooping it out, it is like a thicker wax. You do have to push and break it down before you can actually get some of it. But it's not a difficult process. It's not something. It's it's not anything out of the ordinary for a heavy hold oil based pomade. And for someone who's been using water based products like nonstop for the past, damn what like three months or something like that, it was kind of um. What's a good word for it? I was weary or rather nervous about like stepping back into an oil based pomade. And not only an oil-based pomade, but like a heavy hold one. However, once I used like this one right here, it actually wasn't like a bad transition at all. I actually was like, damn, I really miss oil-based pomades. And it's not something you expect out of like a heavy hold pomade. Because it's like really easy to apply. As you guys can tell, it was really easy to smear my hands. The reason why I was taking long was I was kind of, I was kind of um, isolating the individual beads of wax. But before this, I already had like, I had about two days worth of like a build up, which you could barely tell because I mean, you guys no noticed my hair from before, it looked just pretty dry, it looked like it had nothing in it, but that was actually two days of build up. And so something that's really nice of this product is actually, as I said before, the lightness of it. I don't want to say it washes out like a water-based product at all, but still, it's like a really light product that actually gets removed with shampoo really well 
and any sort of buildup that's left over is mostly like a waxy buildup. And honestly, when we talk about buildup, when we complement a buildup, for me at least, it's kind of like silver lining. It's kind of like bright siding and inconvenience that we don't want. But now, with this product, strangely, I don't really even have to deal with buildup at all. So it's actually really nice. So this is my second scoop. Make sure I get my pomade underneath my hair where I need it for foundation later. And it's a heavy hole pomade. It's a waxy one, yet I can still apply pretty aggressively. And you guys should notice that with many other heavy holds in the past, I haven't been able to do that. Or rather, it was too discomforting to do that. So I should just need one more lick and we should be good. It's been nice to see these heavy hold products really step away from like a brute like force mentality or rather I just remember there used to be a point in time when all heavy hold pomades like it was okay for them to be as hard as a candle and thankfully with where like the market is moving today we've seen a departure from that and like heavy hold products it's not okay for them to be super tough anymore. They have to still be ap applicable. I mean, because when you want a heavy hold product, you want it heavy in the hair. You want it heavy in terms of like strength hold and hold. You don't want it to be heavy in terms of removing it from the jar. Like, who the hell pays for like the struggle of removing pomade from a jar? So that should definitely be enough product. And right now, it just feels actually really light in my hair. I know it will perform well later on. I know I'm going to get enough hold. But the nice part and the best part about this product is it feels light, doesn't feel greasy, and it feels like really nice and dry. So it starts looking everything back. And as you guys can see, everything is actually slicking down real nice. Like, you don't see this much control from a water-based pomade. And so this is something that I have forgotten, but am grateful to once again have. For everything slicked back, now go ahead and start forming like the part. Despite being a like heavy hold pomade, it's not discomforting to make like abrupt changes in like the direction of my hair. Cause let's say for example, back when we used, um, or rather I didn't actually review this for the blog yet, this is way earlier on. But back when we used products like the High Life Voodoo Brew, or Voodoo Number no. 2, or uh, um, what's that thing called? American Gentleman Soap Company, like the super heavy hold one. Like those things were extremely discomforting. Like when you made the part and you had to really change the direction of your hair, like you can actually rip out a few hairs in that process. And as you can see, my sides are actually slicking down beautifully. Not like too slick. Like when you go in with Suavecito like Firme, like it's like held tight to your skin, which is like a little weird. But with this one, with a nice heavy oil base, they're held tight, but they still have a little bit of like puff and like liveliness to them. And as you guys remember, I just got a haircut. So these hairs are pretty short right now. And still they're like held down or rather pushed in the general direction. So it's really nice. So with the side slick back, I'm going to go ahead and start forming the pump. All right, so let's go ahead and call that done and review the hair now. So as you can see, my sides have slicked back really nice. Part made really well, and the pump is actually just at like an average height with like a good okay shape. Um, I did go light with the pomade today, and also the last haircut, 
I got actually put to my hair about like above my nose so it's very much on the lighter side and lastly it's also been raining a lot in my area so I do want to prioritize stability over height or whatever because I mean you don't worry about the water like dissolving in oil-based pomade but what you do worry about is like the droplets actually like kind of causing splits in your hair and also if you're really unlucky with the product some water actually might cause it to start beating up and you start seeing particulates in your hair which is really unattractive, unattractive. Um, but anyways um, the shine is like pretty um, it's basically a touch above matte so really nice just a clean like I have product in my hair type of shine um, slickness is really actually nice just a few stray hairs not much at all even though wax is the primary ingredient this is still like and above average in terms of slickness compared to other heavy hold pomades. The control is like good. It's um, better than what they had um, before with the medium hold product. And so definitely without a doubt, like Rocky Lopez has actually stepped up the game for the rusted pomade line. The smell is nice. It's a great product overall. I'm really happy with it so far. But we'll go ahead and go throughout the whole day and see how that happiness um, ends up at the end of the day. Talk about a few other things like endurance, stability, and like restyleability stuff like that but yeah so see you in a few hours i'll be back all right what up guys so 8 p.m now end of the day let's go over the hair if i came back to you guys without styling my hair or changing it up a bit it would actually look this exactly the same as when i left in the morning and i already verified it over the past two days that like this pomade will keep your hair relatively where you left it and it has good endurance so what i wanted to do instead was to actually test out its versatility because with many other heavyweight pomades they all don't dry I mean the oil based products obviously they don't harden up or dry or anything that's a given but they're really difficult to style like a loose pomade with because they just provide too much hold or like too much grease or just too much like wax and it's just like overkill it's not comfortable to run your hands through well this one actually is and as you can see right now, I already just have like a loose slick back. My sides are hand combed, the hand pressed. And so you can really tell that like, it looks nice. I mean, it's a versatile product. It's one of the few oil-based heavyweights that we can actually consider versatile. And so that's something that's really good. And so according to the past like two days, I would say this has good endurance. I would also say it has good versatility. Um, the shine is about the same as where I left it. It didn't lose slickness or anything. We still got like a few straight hairs, but none more than what we had in the morning. Um, rinseability, as I mentioned before, it actually washes out a lot. Like, you don't get any gunk on your comb, which is really nice. I hate having that gunk on my comb um, after I shower. However, like, a lot of it does get removed. And it's not super greasy. Or, and it's not like super waxy after the buildup. It's really low. And so if you shower, if you want to remove your pomade, then you can get a lot of it out, which is really nice and really convenient. Um, in the rain though, I'm gonna have a few other of you guys um, kind of verify this for me, but uh, a few days ago, it rained a lot. I had to go outside, I was walking to and from class, and so the rain hit hard and my hair did kind of just lose shape in the rain. But the big thing I noticed was that this product actually had a little bit of like beating up of like the wax. I mean, I was able to get rid of it with one wipe of the towel and restyling it didn't really agitate anymore or bring up any more beads of wax or anything. But I do want to ask you guys and check out if you guys choose to use this product and you guys use it in the rain, let me know what, how it works for you, whether you guys have the same experience or not. Other than that, um, the scent is pretty much gone and stuff like that. It's, it was a medium scent to begin with, lasts about for the first few hours or so. After that, kind of subsides a little bit. So, in all honesty, I would actually recommend Rustin Heavy Hold Pomade. Like, definitely I haven't had a heavy hold um, oil-based pomade in a long time. And it was a welcome, like, step, or rather, like, a welcome back to the oil-based game and, like, a, a nice one. Because what I was afraid of was transitioning from, like, a water-based to, like, a thick and heavy oil-based. And this was nice and strong, but it wasn't thick and heavy. So... I really like it actually and I would highly recommend it for you guys and it does receive my seal of approval. So yeah, oh, <laughs> I actually almost forgot. Um, I have hooked you guys up with a promo code for Rustin Pomade. And actually I'm in the process of hooking you guys up with promo codes from a lot more home brewers and stuff like that. And so I'm not gonna say how much 
percent off you get right now because that might change. Instead, I'm gonna I'm gonna push you towards the page on my blog that would have all the updated um, brewers and all the updated percentages. But for now, either way, it doesn't matter what percent. The promo code is always gonna be the same, which is the pump, no space, no periods, all caps, the pump. And so this is my gift to you guys, and also a gift to you guys from um, Rocky as well. And so I hope you guys decide to try some out because this is a heavyweight that is actually like strong enough yet also convenient enough to use on the daily. So yeah, this has been a review for Rustin Heavy Hole Pomade. Hope you guys got something out of the review. Other than that, take care guys and have a good weekend.